7.25 is the time and the battle is on to save our butterflies. A £25 million scheme to conserve the world's most endangered butterflies is being launched today. And who better to tell us about it than wildlife expert and broadcaster, a living legend, David Bellamy is here, along with a friend on his chest and the project founder, Clive Farrell, who I've been calling Colin all morning. But you're far better behaved than Colin Farrell, Clive. It's nice to welcome you. David, tell us about that magnificent creature on your chest well, first of all. It's a lady atlas moth and the biggest moth in the world. The biggest moth in the world. But gosh. what we're here to do is to put um, butterflies back into everyone's lives. When I was a kid I used to cycle round what is now Heathrow um, Airport looking at aeroplanes but it was full of butterflies. Mm -hmm. Most of them have gone. This guy is gonna put them back. Inside there is a butterfly trying to get out. <laughs> And very soon, we're going to have 10,000 butterflies in a giant dome there, and people will be able to interact with them there. But outside, there are going to be test uh, gardens, so everyone can have butterflies back in their garden. I mean, he's an absolute genius, a bit of a nutter, but fantastic. Well, he's in good company then, David, isn't he, really? <laughs> Do you know what I've noticed? Because I remember as a child, Caterpillars, they were everywhere, and I used to love playing with caterpillars, and then you'd see the chrysalis everywhere. You don't see them so much anymore. I, I think so. Or is that just me? Yeah. Oh, no, the, the, yeah. they've gone. Wherever we've used pesticides and herbicides and uh, very, very strong um, fertilizer, they've gone. The poor things can't... See, they they have three parts of their lives, the Mar Margo this, and then the caterpillar, which yeah. people are frightened of. And then they have the chrysalis, and they yeah. have to hang up in safety. So they need three habitats. If you've got butterflies in your garden, wow, you are the greenest, well, the most multicolored green person in the world. And he's that, you want, get him to take you down and see his garden and all his garden, and all the butterflies that should be in Wiltshire are there, and he put them there. Gosh, that's amazing. And now you're going to share this with all of us because you're building this amazing dome um, just off the M25 in yeah. near St Albans in Hertfordshire. That's yeah? right. We managed to find the perfect site just off the M25 and we're going to build our own lane um, into the site, the form of a country lane. And we're building an enormous dome, uh, 100 metres across, big enough to contain Stonehenge seven times over. Gosh. And inside we're putting in a lost civilization in the form of ancient Maya ruins. So the mystery and the magic of a lost world as a suitable stage setting, if you like, for thousands of tropical butterflies, hummingbirds, spiders, leaf-cutting ants, scorpions and so forth. You know, I know what you're talking about because you had a project, I th think, um, near Richmond, a lot, which a lot of people will have been to, if that, which was in Scion Park near yes, Richmond. The, I remember going in there lots of times. Well, that um, I built that uh, some 28 years ago now, and sadly, it's it's had its day and it's uh, uh, it's now been uh, demolished. Uh, but the new one that we're going to build now will be 150 times the size of the London Butterfly House. So. Amazing. Tons of space and full of full of, of creatures like this. This is the biggest moth in the world. There, could... David there for a second. no, yeah. no, David. Look, David. It's like a visit from Santa having David <laughs> on, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it really is. When does it open then, Clive? Well, it's being built in two phases, okay. and we'll, we're starting work uh, next week on the road, um, and then we'll be working hell for leather on the site and building all the gardens and Hertfordshire's richest wildflower meadow around it a chrysalis shaped lake yeah. um, and we're going to build the very foundation of the dome itself um, and then um, in 2010 if all goes well and we can muster the resources then we'll finish the job off. Gosh, what a, what, a, what a wonderful vision, isn't it, David? It's just well, it's so good that you're doing it. Well, I soon we'll have a congestion charge for butterflies. There'll yeah. be so many there. <laughs> and also, my dream is to put glowworms back in all the London parks. Can you imagine a world without butterflies? Can you imagine the London all sparkling eyes? Glowworms. And we, he can do it. I can't. I'm just a dog's body who finds the flowers. Love, love. Do you know, I'd love to inhabit your lives. I really would. They <laughs> sound so lovely. That's a girl, isn't it, that one? That's that a is. girl one. But you have a look at the wings a minute. I don't know if you can pick up. It's just incredible because on the edge of the wing that you explain, Clive, because you're nearest there. Well, one of the defence mechanisms is to pretend to be a snake. And if you look at the very end of the wing there, 
it's like a, a snake's head. Isn't Can you make incredible? that out? Mm -hmm. yeah, so absolutely. a small bird may think it's not worth the risk and fly off so this moss will live a few more days. Our mm. producer is like a curled up cobra at the moment because yeah. we're in because <laughs> isn't it's 7.30 so. so we better go. It's so. it's so lovely to meet both Thank of you. Very yeah. Thanks it's for coming tricky, in. It's a tricky wind when you've got wings that big uh, just at the moment. A lot of weather <laughs> about. Here's Claire. I did a butterfly, a butterfly farm live last year and I wore a skirt. Oh no. Oh my goodness. There were <laughs> butterflies everywhere. It was fantastic. In Richmond actually. It was absolutely fantastic. But um, heading down there, don't wear a skirt. It's not so good for ladies. Right. Thank you for yes. that. Yes. Shall we talk about the weather? Oh, no, we not really skirt weather either today. We've got storms across the country. Um, uh, certainly this is the second storm to batter uh, Britain over the last two to three days. Take a look at that. It's pretty awful. That's Blackpool actually a few hours ago. A severe girl and it's going to get a little bit worse before it gets better today. Should we take a look?